welcome back to RC Summer, guys. I am so excited to be bringing this series back. If you're new here and you don't know what RC Summer is, it's something that I started, I think, in university during my summer holidays. So in uni, you usually get like two or three months off. And obviously not having uni meant that I could have more time to film, more time to hang out with my friends. I could film more fun things. Summer is my favorite time of the year. So I always wanted to film as many vlogs as I possibly could, but I couldn't do vlog mess because I worked in retail during Christmas. And so I worked heaps over the Christmas period. So the solution that I came up with was RC Summer, where I would upload as many like fun summer vlogs during those months as I possibly could, but it wasn't an everyday thing like Vlogmas. And I've kind of done it every year since. Last year I didn't really do it. I still vlog during summer, but I didn't like make it a big thing. But I wanted to bring it back this year because I actually can't believe it. I have a summer again. Obviously while I was in school, I had my summer break. When I was in uni, I had my summer break. And I really thought that when I finished uni, that was gonna be it. That was gonna be my last like summer off. And now I work in a school. So I get six weeks off during Christmas, which is absolutely incredible. Very thankful for that. And so I was like, I've got to bring back RC Summer if I have time off. And can we just take a minute? This is the first time in 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This is my first Christmas in eight years that I'm not working in retail. For the past eight Christmases, I have worked in retail. And if you know what working in retail is like during Christmas, it's crazy, it's insane, it's really busy. It doesn't really feel like a break. This is my first time since I was literally like 13 years old because I started work when I was 14, having more than like two weeks off. I don't think I've ever had more than two weeks off work before. So that is insane. I have six weeks off and I wanna make the most of it. So I'm gonna be doing as many vlogs as I possibly can during the summer. And there are some big things coming. Some announcements, some fun things, wedding planning, a bunch of other stuff that I'll reveal to you throughout this month. And I'm really excited that I get to share it with you guys. So I just wanted to sit down and give you that little disclaimer and explanation of what RC Summer is if you haven't seen it before and just get you guys hyped. I hope you love the new intro. I think it's really fun. The day that this is uploaded, I think is my last day of work. So happy holidays to me. Merry Christmas to you. Happy RC summer to all and enjoy the vlog. Good evening, friends. It is December 1st currently and tomorrow is December 2nd, which also means it is our best friend Beck's 22nd birthday. So we just went out to the shops and grabbed some groceries because we're gonna head over to her house tomorrow morning before any of us have to go to work. And we're going to make her breakfast. Cody starts work really early in the morning and we didn't want her to spend her birthday morning alone. So we thought this would be a fun thing to do. But yeah, I'm about to wrap her presents, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of a haul and show you what we got. It's all in this little basket, which I think is so cute. It's like white and gold speckled. But we just have a bunch of things that we really think she's gonna love or that kind of look like Beck to us. Apart from this stuff, we also have a bunch of her favorite snacks in the fridge, but I probably won't wrap those. I don't think that's necessary. So first of all, we have Alona Jane Gym Tao. If you guys don't know, she's a dance teacher. She also goes to the gym. She's actually doing like a six week challenge at the moment, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully that comes in handy. She also really likes reading. So I got her this book. When I asked her what she wanted for her birthday, she said books would be a really good gift. So I just got her one that I loved and that I think she'll really like. She likes reading romances and like chill, like young adult kind of stuff, I think. So this is The Arrangement by Robin Harding. It's a really cool book if you're looking for a new one. We also got her this mascara. We watched some of her old videos to find out what mascara she used. So hopefully she still likes that one. We also have a Lush Bath Bomb, which is making this whole thing smell so good. We got the Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb. Then we also have this cute little daily planner. Georgia just recently bought this and loves it. It's just from Kmart, but she thinks it's amazing. And I feel like Beck is a very organized person who would enjoy something like this. We also got this little set from Bonds. So it's like a matching like bralette and underwear set and it feels Feels so comfy, like so incredibly comfy. And I feel like she'd really like that. And then we got her these two little pairs of socks. These are from Universal, if you're wondering. But one has a little bee and one has a little butterfly embroidered and they're so stinking cute. And then yeah, we just have her favorite snack. So we have her Nesquik, trusty Nesquik. We also have some peanut M&Ms and I think just a block of chocolate as well. We also got her some flowers and I'm gonna quickly wrap these gifts up before probably heading to bed and celebrating with her tomorrow. Life depends on trying to figure it, scribble like a let loose Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way I think I figured that them figures out to get you Let them pull the strings that trigger what you say Think it's difficult to get out on my brain I wish life went in any other way But it's all side roads to nowhere And I can find a map that seemed to mark my place 
finished wrapping everything, wrote a little card, and we've packed all of our ingredients tomorrow so we can go make a breakfast. So I'll update you guys tomorrow with everything that happens. Good morning guys, it is now the next day. It is Beck's birthday and we are heading over to her place with breakfast. So we've got a gift, we've got the food, we've got some flowers and let's go celebrate. Now the afternoon when i got home from work i literally just showered and then sat at my computer working for like an hour and a half but i stopped so i could get ready because we've got beck's birthday dinner tonight as if we haven't seen enough of her today but i don't know what i want to wear it is super hot today i think it's like the hottest day it's been in a very long time peep the christmas presents up there my wardrobe is a mess originally i was thinking this top with a denim skirt but i'm not so sure do i want to wear a dress Oh, I could wear this one. But we're eating, so like, honestly, maybe that is the go. I don't know. I don't really feel like any of my other dresses are really the vibe, but I could wear a skirt. Even that top is cute. Maybe I'll try this one on. Oh, it's really hard to get on and off, actually. Ugh. Oh, that one. Mm. This happens every time I need to pick out an outfit. Every time. I just can't. Like just doesn't happen. I have, I love my clothes. I have so many, I'm so blessed. But why can I not pick out one single outfit? I'm also not tanned. And that eliminates a lot of the options that I feel confident in. Or I could wear the black version of that beige one I just showed you. Maybe I'll go, uh, this is like my safe option, but kind of love the safe option. I'm not tan, I think maybe this one, we'll see. I'll try it on. I think I'll probably go with this one. So I changed my mind. I ended up going with this outfit. This top is from Princess Polly a while ago. The skirt is from Supre and I'm wearing my Puma sneakers. I was gonna wear sandals, but I really love these sneakers. Great investment. I mean, someone commented on one of my videos and they're like, clothing pieces are not an investment. And I understand. Generally speaking, they don't increase in value. However, if you buy a good piece of clothing or shoes or whatever it may be, like something good quality, like a really good pair of white sneakers, it means you'll probably save money over the long term because you're not repurchasing cheap things over and over. So that's what I mean when I say that. I hope that makes sense. I did curl my hair a little bit. It's just got some like waves in it. It was so hot. Like trying to curl my hair in like 35 degree weather, maybe not the move to go for. That's all right. We got there in the end. Let's go. Just made it to Beck's birthday dinner. About to head in. I'm so hungry. Have you looked at the menu before? No. Hmm. We've eaten here like once, but a really long time ago. So I don't remember what the options are. I think they have a bit of everything. Mm. I don't know what I feel like. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> That's all I ended up filming for this little vlog. During RC summer, my goal is to have a video up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So previously I was just doing two days a week, but I'm hoping to either have three, maybe sometimes four a week during this like RC summer period. Some of them will be normal sit down videos, but there'll probably be a lot of vlogs. So if there's anything that you want me to do during these vlogs or like show you, please let me know. I'm open for suggestions. I do have a bunch of ideas. And actually in the next RC summer, I think there's like a pretty decent announcement coming your way so look out for that in about two days but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up if you're excited about rc summer please let me know because i am so excited like i said at the start of this video by the time you're watching this i will be finished work and that means i have about six weeks of pretending i'm a full-time youtuber which i am just ecstatic about i i'm so happy i will talk to you guys very soon in my next video good bye